Hey Shani Fannies! Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi! I'm actually in my husband's bedroom right now because I'm really missing him. But he comes home tomorrow. But I think I'm going to sleep in here tonight because that's how much I miss him. And the bed sheets smell like him. And all my bed sheets smell like you. Anyway, hi, welcome to today's video. I thought that today I would try doing something that I haven't done in a while on YouTube. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. And that's just kind of like open up about like deep, dark feelings and especially when it comes to Ed because I've been experiencing some stuff that I haven't experienced in a while with Ed and it's really frustrating. So I kind of just want to talk about it. Um, I've been really struggling with body image right now. Um, like, I mean, I always do, we all do, but like, I'm really struggling to see, I don't know, I don't even know where to begin. By the way, I forgot to say at the first of this video, yesterday's video, <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt anybody, I meant to help. That was the point, was to try and empower all of you guys out there that have probably heard these words said to you by somebody or you've said them to yourself before. I know that though every single thing I said is something my inner dialogue is and so I kind of just wanted to let it out and let out that hatred and anger and then at the end dismiss it and I really enjoy doing it. I'm gonna leave it up but just know that I didn't mean to offend. I actually thought that it would kind of be empowering because it was empowering for me but if it just isn't your type of video, that's okay too. I understand. I can't win them all. I can't win really very many anymore, <laughs> but it's okay. Anyway, but I really am. I really didn't mean to hurt you, so I'm sorry if I hurt you. This It really was meant for a good, positive reason, I promise. Um, go back and watch it. Now that you know that what it's really about, go back and watch it again and listen to the words I said and tell yourself the opposite. Just try it and you'll feel better. Hopefully, we'll see. And for all of you in the comments that were like, well, yeah, that really is me. She's like talking about me until until she said it's opposite day that, that she was like describing me. No, that's not you. That's not any of you. You are beautiful. You're worth it. You have strength in you. You get to decide what your life is. You get, nobody gets to take that power away from you and nobody gets to make you feel a negative way that you're not. That is either bullies in real life or bullies inside and either way they're wrong so you can tell them to f off really honestly okay so speaking of inner thoughts so this is gonna sound okay this is crazy i i need to know i need to know if there's anybody else out there who's experienced this so you know how when they talk about how you hit like a plateau sometimes like if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to better yourself in some way in life or whatever, you eventually hit a plateau where it just doesn't work anymore. So that's what I'm going through and it's really frustrating because the plateau that I've hit is something that has been saving me from my eating disorder lately. So what I'm talking about is when I binge and purge, I get really swollen. My face gets swollen, my body gets swollen. Everything gets swollen, especially, you know, over here. And I have not been binging and purging as much. I think I did it once in the past week and once the week before that, maybe not even once the week before that. But like, even though it's stupid, I did use that motivation like, okay, when I don't binge and purge, my face is smaller. My face is less puffy. My face looks more alive. My face looks more vibrant and I feel more vibrant and I feel and look more alive. Um, and so like, I know that that's kind of might sound like a vain or stupid reason to not purge, but at least it was something, it was something that I was holding on to. So I'm really angry right now because I'm feeling like that doesn't work anymore and that my face looks like I've been binging and purging 10 times a day again, like I used to. Um, and it's frustrating because I, because I literally, literally that's what's the main thing, the easiest thing I think for me to 
remember, like, every time I've wanted to binge a purge, I always say, no, but I want my face to stay down, and I, and I, you know, I'm going to film a video tomorrow, or I'm going to go to a party tomorrow, or whatever, and, and I don't want my face to be bloated, um, and so even though that's not what matters, like, looks don't matter, I would rather have leaned on that than nothing, um, to get my body used to not binging and purging, which it's starting to do now. It's just not my normal anymore. Um, so, but anyway, so the past few days, it's just kind of been hard for me to see my face and to see my body. So yesterday, or two days ago, I don't know what day it is, but I went to my mom's house and they did a birthday party for me. My birthday was on Saturday, but I was really sick on my birthday, so they rescheduled it for Monday. So I went to her house and it was so fun. Oh my gosh, and I vlogged. You're gonna love it. Like, that was, there was a part that, there was something that happened that none of us planned, and I think it's probably one of my best memories where I truly, actually, literally laughed so much that my body hurt, my cheeks hurt, everything. It just made my day. It was the best birthday ever. So thank you again, mom, for throwing that party. And even though you've been really sick, you got up and you decorated your house for me and you made me a cake and you gave me gifts and you set up a dinner and you bought dinner for everybody and allowed us to come to your house and hang out. Like my mom is such a freaking rock star. So thank you, mama. I love you. And Angela and Liz and their families that came. It just was so much fun. Anyway, my mom, I asked her to film a couple things for me because this is Danny's water, so hold on. I had to smell it to see how old it is. I have, I'm very sensitive to, I can taste when things are like this is starting to go old, but oh my gosh, I sound psychotic. Okay, um, so I asked my mom to film a couple things on my birthday, specifically like me blowing the candles out on my cake. I couldn't film that myself or opening presents. I couldn't film that myself, so I had her film it. And I went back and watched the footage when I got home and I just looked at it and I was like, wait, when did I gain like 50 pounds overnight? How did that happen? And all of a sudden I saw my body the exact same way it was when I was Sorry, trigger warning numbers, but I'm not giving you actual numbers, so, but like 40 or 50 pounds heavier than this was my highest weight, 40 pounds maybe, I don't know. But anyway, that's how I saw myself in the video. And I was like, that's weird because I filmed a video the day before and I watched it and I didn't look that big, so why do I look that big today? And so I'm starting to get pissed because I've been working hard to not binge and purge for the sake of my body, for the sake of my face, for the sake of everything. And then I've also tried to learn to start loving my body. And it just made me mad because I was like, are you kidding me? Is my BDD coming back? Um, for those of you that don't know what that means, that's body dysmorphic disorder. And a lot of people with eating disorders get this. I used to have it when I was much, much smaller. Um, like much smaller. Like when I started YouTube before that, I was at my smallest as far as like my adult weight goes. And I thought at that time even that I looked as big as my biggest, even though it was like 80 pounds bigger than what I was at the time. Like that's how bad it was. And some people get it so bad to the point that they, they hide from mirrors. They cover anything that's shiny. They, um, I had a friend one time that she had BDD so, so bad, like so bad that every time she went to the hairdresser, she would make them cover the mirror so that she didn't have to look at her face because she had really bad BDD about her face and she thought she was like deformed and she wasn't at all. She was perfectly beautiful and such a sweet angel. And I miss her if you're out there, I love you. Um, anyway, so that's kind of what, you know, body dysmorphic disorder can come with like weight or looks or scars or whatever, you just see yourself differently than what you really actually are. So that on top of like knowing that I'm swollen and, and it's playing tricks on me right now. If I'm just being completely honest, it's playing tricks on me because it's like I have two pieces, huge pieces of evidence, okay, 
that I gained a ton of weight. And so Ed is pissed. The first piece is the video I saw. And the second piece is the fact that I'm so swollen and I haven't been purging. So it must be fat. It must be weight. <laughs> um, so that's, that's what's going on in my head Ed wise. And it's not okay. I hate it. Um, it's made me really frustrated because I'm at a weight that I was starting to get used to and I knew that I would gain weight in recovery. I gained about, let's see, 40 pounds maybe total in recovery. Um, if you go back and watch my videos from the beginning, I was a lot smaller back then and I've gained about 40 pounds since then total. Um, but I was starting to accept my body and love it and maybe not love it, but at least like try to love it and try to understand that my husband loved it and, and that it works and I should be grateful to even have a body. And some people don't have arms or legs. Some people can't walk at all. Some people can't even talk. Some people can't see or hear, or like, I'm lucky that I have, even though I have a bajillion health problems, I'm lucky that I do have a functioning body that can at least walk and have some, a little bit of independence, you know? Um, so I'm just really frustrated right now. So I just want to know, is anyone out there, can anyone relate to this where you purposely, like, I hope this isn't too triggering or anything, but I just want to know, is any, am I the only person in the world that's ever used that excuse of, well, if I don't purge, then I won't be swollen. And that excuse is what has saved me from purging many times. So it's like, it's a good thing. It sucks that I have to like, again, focus on something visual to get me to not purge, but at least it's something. And at least it started to train my body to get used to not purging as much. And that did work for me. So I'm just curious if anyone else went through anything like this and if they get frustrated because, um, the good side effects, whether it's the way you look or the way you feel, um, aren't happening anymore like they were, what did you do? <laughs> did you give in like I want to? Did you get help? Did you, did it go away after a while? How long did it take if it did go away? I really, really want to hear your experiences. This is one of those times where I don't have an answer and I, I mean, I never had the answer. I'm not that smart, but I don't have an answer for what's happening right now and and I'm not saying that whatever your answer is is going to be my answer but it could help me a little bit to hear any experience that you have that could relate to anything that I've been talking about in this video that would help me out a lot so yeah just leave in the comments below stay respectful I don't know why I need to remind you of that you guys always do I mean there's always a couple disrespectful people but just ignore them and move on with your life um but yeah, let's talk about it. Let's have an open conversation below. That would help me and maybe that would help a lot of you. So let's do that. So, okay, I'm going to go to bed. I love you guys. Thanks for listening to whatever this is. Just, I want each and every one of you to just diagnose me and give me a pill that will fix it. And then I can just get up the next day and all of a sudden I'll have all the energy to like go to the store without passing out. And then I'll be able to like feel enough motivation and strength inside of me to build my YouTube channel and to do better things for myself and to continue to get better and really kick it into high gear and, and do all the things and then eat chocolate. If someone can make that pill for me, I would really appreciate it. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Love you.